Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some of the best iOS 15 home screen widgets. These are widgets that are actually very, very useful and I believe every iPhone user should have them on their iOS 15 device. Of course, these widgets are not exclusive to iOS 15. You can have them on iOS 14 as well. Now, with the release of the widgets on the home screen of your iPhones with iOS 14, there was a lot of new widgets being released and of course, a lot of apps being updated to support home screen widgets. But with the release of iOS 15 and Apple not actually adding any new features to the home screen widgets, it seems like not like a lot of devs are anymore interested to create new widget apps or update their apps to support widgets. But again, we still have some very cool ones and very useful ones that I believe is worth downloading and trying them out on your device. So here we have 10 of those that I believe every iPhone user must download and try out on their device. Starting things off with Smart Battery. Now this is a battery widget, but it also displays the storage of your device and also the consumption of data. It is really, really interesting and it has a very unique way of representing the battery percentage and also the storage. So you can see right here, we have the widgets, we have four different ones, we have storage, we have battery, we have a smaller one for the battery and then we have the data as well. So what it does, you can see right here, I have 67% of battery left and it will show me right here what I can do with that percentage of battery. 53 hours of listening to music or 13 hours of watching video or six hours of gameplay. And right here you can see on the storage, it shows basically how much free storage I have and then it shows how much hours I can record video, how many pictures can I take or how many songs can I download into my device with the storage that I have left. Really, really cool and a very unique way to represent the storage and the battery that you have on your device. You will also get the smaller one here for the data consumption and you get a bunch of different ones which you can find of course from the widgets panel of this app. Activity Plus is another widget that you must have. It actually displays way more information about your activity than the stock one of iOS does, which is the fitness one, which basically only displays like the most basic information. Now, right here, you can have a ton of different widgets. You have this one right here that will show you your latest workout. You will have this one for the steps. It actually shows you the date right there, the number of steps, and also the distance that you have walked. And then you have right here all the different informations for the current day, you have the distance that you have walked, the steps, the hours you've been standing, and of course the exercise minutes and the calories that you have burned. Again, this is another app that offers a lot of different widgets, so make sure you go ahead and explore them from the widgets panel. Next, we have top widgets. This is a really interesting one and it actually looks pretty, pretty cool. And you can see right there, that one is really amazing. It's shortcuts to open apps and it actually works. Of course, I tap on Instagram right there. It will redirect me to Instagram. It has a very unique way of displaying those shortcuts. It's really amazing. And of course, you will have a bunch of other ones which you can see right here. You have that like watch face right there. You have this one displaying a ton of different information. So you will have the calendar you have right there, the storage, you have battery, Wi-Fi, seller, all that into that small widget. You can add way more by going into this app. So when you go to the home screen of the app, you will have your small, medium, large. You can switch between those and choose here what you want to add to your home screen. So you will have a bunch of like different widgets that you can go ahead and pick from here. And of course, even customize them from here and then go ahead and apply them to the home screen of your device. Sports alerts is the must have widget for any sports fan. It allows you to keep track of games, of results, of any like different sport or league that you want. And of course your favorite team as well. You have the smaller widget right here, which lets you pick your favorite team. You can see the results of the latest, the latest results and of course the upcoming games. Or right there on the medium one or the bigger one, you can have like entire different scores of different leagues. You can go ahead and just three details there, edit the widget and choose what you want to see here from NBA to NHL to soccer leagues. Anything you want will be displayed right there. So if you're a sports fan, this is of course a must have widget. Now, of course you can have a bunch of these same widgets so I can add like two or three of these and I can have, for example, here, my basketball team right there. I can have my soccer team or my NFL team right there. Just go ahead and edit here 
here and just pick any theme you want on different widgets you can add different themes folder shortcut is the next one for the video it allows to have shortcuts to your files folders directly from the home screen of your device the way it works is of course you go into the app and add these folders i will show you guys how to add them in a second but what you can do here is of course just tap on one of these and it will actually open that folder that you have added right there now the way you add a folder is by just selecting a file into the folder which you want to add on the shortcut so let's say i want to add this folder right here it's called battery status so let's just remove it first so the way i add this is of course simply tap here and then go ahead and navigate into that folder and just select a random file that is saved into that folder and that way you will be able to add that to the home screen of your device next up is widget now with widget you will have only small widgets only the two by two widgets but you can display a ton of different informations on these widgets like right here i have a clock i have battery percentage i have my activity and i have right there a random emoji of course i can add things like weather for example right there now as i said it only offers small widgets and you can customize these and basically highlight all kinds of different widgets on the home screen and if you pick like that color you can see with a bunch of colors right there you can see it will randomly change the color of the widgets on the home screen making them look really really cool now if you go right here you can add photos to the home screen of your device you can have duos here trios or quattro right here with four different information so you can have let's say like date battery percentage activity clock you go ahead and just pick any of these just like this you pick a, basically a widget that you like you can go ahead and change its color and then of course you can go ahead and choose what you want to display on that particular part of the widget and let's just tap save widget and you will have it right here you go to the home screen 3d touch on the widget and pick one of those that you have added to the list next we have my all-time favorite widget now of course i have to add widget on probably every video that i do on home screen widgets because you always will have new widgets coming in into this app of course that's thanks to the great community that we have here on widget of course everyone contributing and creating always new widgets that are actually amazing they can see what we have right here some really useful ones we have right there siri of course you can refresh there we have life advice from c right there we have the events and we have the weather right there the smaller one here shows anything you need to know battery percentage date you have your airpods right there and your watch as well and here we have one for the now playing music the date and battery as well now if we move to widget right here you can go to explore and now you can simply explore from here any widget that you want you will have all kinds of different widgets and you can even smash right here this reddit button and of course go to the reddit community and just browse the community and you will find amazing widgets to add to the home screen of your device go to manage from here you will have a bunch of different slots you tap on one of them and pick the widgets you have imported and then that of course will be displayed on the home screen make sure you go ahead and download widget if you haven't already make sure you download it it is amazing and of course it has quite a lot to offer next up is a weather widget and it's one of my favorites probably my favorite weather widget it is called my weather and it has quite a lot of different widgets with different informations and here we have some we have the forecast for the next like six days right there at the top we have the current the small one for the current weather right there and then we have this one right here it shows your current weather and of course it also shows you the forecast for the next four days and then right there we have the air quality we have the rain chance and of course the humidity and then right here we have the sun as well so very very useful a bunch of different widgets you can add from this app but displaying a ton of different informations on your device so make sure you go ahead and add it to your device now once you have added this and you have added these to the home screen of your device all you have to do is just 3d touch on one of them tap on edit widget choose the location right there and that will be displayed on the home screen of your iphone next is google probably most of you guys have google downloaded on your device make sure you go ahead and check its widgets as well they have some pretty cool ones they have actually two which are very useful and let you quickly search anything you want you can do a voice search a land search 
basically search with your camera and you can also enable a private tab directly from the home screen you will also have the general search right there so it has these two widgets the small one the simple search and then right here we have all the different ones now of course you can tap on each button to basically invoke that action directly from the home screen and last but not least is follows me now follows me allows you to keep track of your following on your social media things like right here reddit you can see we have right there twitter as well you will have also instagram and youtube and facebook but you will have to pay for those you have other ones that are free let's just quickly move into the app right here so the way it works you basically go ahead and tap on add account and just add your username for any of these you can go ahead and add them to the home screen of your device then of course keep track of all your followers so that's basically it for this video guys these are the 10 best ios 15 home screen widgets that i believe every iphone user must have on their device hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed the widgets if you want to download them make sure to check out the pinned comment you will find all the links there again thank you guys for watching and i will see you on the next one